70% of the world's surface consists of water, but only 2% of our food is being produced from the oceans. And the majority of that food is being produced in aquaculture. Now, if we want to continue to feed the growing world population, aquaculture has to grow even more and more food has to be produced from the oceans. And breeding programs can help in the development of that aquaculture industry. But there are currently two problems that we need to work on. The first problem is that there are still not enough breeding programs. Many fish are produced without any breeding program. And if you want that production to become more efficient, you need to select animals so that they start to grow better, feed better, and ultimately become more efficient. The second problem that I want to work on is that breeding programs that do exist have to become more sophisticated in terms of balanced, a balanced suit of traits that you want to select fish for. And the traits that you have to select fish for need to be on resilience, resource efficiency, and ultimately agriculture industry that can contribute to a circular economy. And this is what I want to work on. I've always been fascinated by water and by fish. As a young kid I grew up north of Amsterdam and I spent a lot of time angling by the waterside. I started my studies as a biologist in Free University in Amsterdam and then I came into contact with people from Wageningen that were studying aquaculture. And I found that such a fascinating discipline that I decided to move to Wageningen and continue my studies there. At that time, in the 1980s, it was a completely new subject. And I've always felt very privileged to be part of that exciting journey into the development of a completely new industry. Fish is a very healthy and nutritious source of food for a large part of the world population. In my research, I want to develop smart breeding programs that can support a sustainable aquaculture industry that will continue to feed that world population. In that sustainable aquaculture industry, we need to have attention for more resilient fish, fish that can cope with the changes caused by climate change. We need to have fish that can cope with environmental conditions and disease pressures and fit into a circular economy where the production of waste is minimized and nutrients are used in a very efficient way.